Hey everybody, it's Nicky D917 and this is part 75 from a walkthrough on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In this episode, we'll, we're gonna do stuff and then do more stuff and then stuff! Not, not sure what we're doing yet. <laughs> All I know is that we're gonna be putting those uh, card keys into that the slots down on slub level 3. What that will do, what that will unlock, what that will give me, I have no frackin' idea. Oh yeah, and we're kind of close to another level up, so that's good. Alright, now do these have to be in a specific order? Okay, so it's in the order that they show. Purple, yellow, and green. Alright. Let's see what's in here. Okay, looks like a puzzle of some sort. I'm going to take you out because I... I'm hoping that there's enough people. Yeah, there's definitely enough people here. And if I use Showstopper, that'll take them all out. Excellent. So with this, I'm probably going to get that level up. Huzzah! Alright, XBA. AABD. Easy enough. Come on. And for the win, you guys are all dead. But just remember, this uh, move does not work against bosses. Like, if I try to use this against, say, the final boss of this area, which I think we can all presume is going to be Sir Grotus, yeah, it's not going to work very well. But anyway, we got that level up, and I think this time I'm going to put it into HP. That way I can get ready for the boss and be able to take attacks better. And Mario became an A-list star. Mario's next battle, or next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get even bigger. That's actually because, and check this out, we have hit level 20. Uh, not sure what that really means in the grand scheme of things, but yay, we did it. All right, how do we get in there? Oh, I know, uh, Bobbery. Throw Bobbery over there. And that will start up this conveyor belt. Use the conveyor belt. Next, we need Vivian. Go in here. And we'll be able to go under there. Next, we go up here. And. Oh, check it out. Up there's an Ultra Shroom. I'll definitely be picking that up. Really quickly. Whoa, that's close. And we need to get rid of something. I'm sure we can find something. I probably don't need this power punch. Alright. Now let's go back. And now I think we gotta jump on these gears. Yep. And don't worry about falling because you'll just fall to the ground and you should be able to go somewhere from there. Anyway, next, pop up right here. Uh, what's next? What's next? What's next? And we open some stairs. Okay. Yeah, I I'm figuring out this puzzle just alongside you guys, because... Yeah, I don't know this stuff yet. Uh, insert the card key. Okay, well, I assume use this, but there's a pipe right here. Where does this lead? Up there, okay. Oh, okay, so this is just an alternate way to get up here. Because we could have jumped along those gates along the ears. Alright, next. Glide over here. Got the card key. Oh dear. And a save block and a healing block. I wonder what this could mean. It certainly couldn't mean that there's a boss right behind the door that I'm about to go into. Could it?
But anyway. Oh, we got a stylish. Cool. Oh, by the way, this is what our new stage looks like. It, it's got kind of an arch to it. Kind of like a... I don't know what I can really say that it looks like, but it looks fancy. Oh, come on. Didn't need it. I was already at full health. That would have been annoying if I would have gotten it and I would already be at full health. But, oh well. And I don't think we're going to get another level up before the next battle. So, Just go ahead, take all this stuff. I don't know what that stuff is. Uh, we'll save really quickly. And then. Shoot, now where am I? Oh, okay. Now I know where we're at. Now it's time to go through the door. Come on. It is a little slow going this way, but we'll be there in a second. La -di -da -di -da. So what are you guys doing? Uh, I've actually been trying to do something lately. I am actually, like I told you, I think either in the last video or two videos ago, that I'm trying to break a speedrunning record. Or I, well, I kind of spoiled what I was going to say, but I told you in the la a couple of videos ago or so that I just got inspired the dragon. Well, now I've realized. I'm really freaking good at that game, and I'm trying to break the speed run all time record of it. But, uh, yeah, it's been a bit slow going. <laughs> I know that retarded sounding laugh right there. You. I've been waiting for you. Oh, man, have I been waiting, and I hate waiting. Crump. You've been waiting for us? What does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. I used the crystal star to lure you here. So that I could take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? Okay. And you want to know the best part? Your little peachy girl isn't even here anymore. Well, I, I was just down in her room. I, I kind of guessed that already. And we saw her cutscene. So Peach was here. Where did you take her, Crump? I can tell you the plan. That's novice villain style. And what exactly do you think you are? Ooh, burn. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Really sorry, guys. So, ready for showtime? You guys are going to get the perfect workout. Be the perfect workout for Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I, I remember Magnus Von Grapple not being that difficult. So... All you've done is really painted a two on it, it looks like. I hope you're up for the challenge, because this thing is raw horsepower, kitties. Alright. Now, since I got the last one, uh, chapter boss wrong, I'm not going to go ahead and guess just yet whether or not uh, Magnus Von Grapple 2.0 is or is not the boss of Chapter 7. We'll see. Yeah, last version was buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new way to experience pain, you junior varsity losers. You're the one who's going to suffer, Crump, no matter how many times we do this. Alright, so I I'm guessing that this is the final boss of Chapter 7. We've been exploring this area a pretty good bit. Not sure where we're going to find the Crystal Star, but... Oh well, we'll save that for a later time. Start off with a piercing blow, see what that does. By the way, this thing has 70 damage! Or 70 HP, so get ready for a fight. And burning it wouldn't be a bad idea. That way he steadily loses some damage every turn. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Drill Attack! Huh? Oh, here. Ha! Alright. Uh, let's see here. What items do I have? Like, I don't like to do the HP drain. That'll probably come in handy. Oh, nice. Good to see that that actually does work against bosses, seeing as how some effect causing 
items don't really work very well against bosses. <laughs> Time to unleash some of the sweet special features on this bad boy. Did you have to pay extra for those? Or what, what was the deal with that? Oh man, this is gonna be so good! Alright, what do you got? This again? Really? We did this last time around, remember? It didn't work! Uh, what do I... Uh, what do I got? Uh, Thunderbolt! Oh, okay, we can only Thunderbolt one person here, so... Might as well be... Magnus! And, um... Let me see some. I don't think I've showed off Fl Flurry's newest attack, Dodgy Fog. Could come in handy. Down. Oh, dear. That wasn't good. Sheesh! Holy crap! Okay. That was pretty powerful. Uh, and I don't think I've shown off Sweet Feast yet. Which is very similar to Sweet Treat. In that you have to do the, basically the same thing. Only, in this one, there's a few big ones that have, um, that will increase them by a bunch. Look at this. 13 edit, or 13 HP back for Flurry, 20 for me, and 14 flower points. That is pretty substantial. But yeah, we need to get rid of one of these, uh, arms, because that's going to be a problem. See what I mean? Okay, so maybe Magnus Fun Grapple 2.0 is actually going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, Earth Tremor? I haven't done this move in a while, and it's pretty effective at taking out multiple enemies. Just got to do this right. Damn it! Sorry. Okay. Uh, get rid of the other other arm. That way, it's not doing as much damage. Still got this thing though. Okay. Uh, what now? Uh, yada yada yada. Spring jump. By the way, for this attack, just keep an eye on the shadow of Mario. That that's what's gonna help you out the most. And you know what? Lip lock will probably come in very handy here. And boom. Just like that one item that I just used earlier. <laughs> Oh crud, you guys should be a little puddled to nothing by now. Oh well, I still got some tricks up my sleeve. Oh dear. We've already been having trouble with this one. Oh dear. No, not this bullcrap. Just took 20 people out of the audience. And he's gonna fire them at us? Hate this! Oh dear. Whoa! Okay, that's a problem. Luckily, I have that. And, uh, <laughs> I'm in a spot of bother! How many of those did I have? Uh, whack -a bump eat it now. Okay, um, I need to get rid of this guy, like, now. Wait, hang on. Oh, can't switch around, so... Alright. Bobbery has the biggest attacks. Let's go for the bob -omb The bob -omb mast Stylish. Oh, what was that? Alright, I'm gonna put Bobbery out in front and have him used hold fast, because I don't think I've showed that off yet, either. Press A when the button lights up, okay? 
Alright, that's gonna be good. Direct attacks will be countered. Interesting. Damn! I haven't had one of those in a while. I, don't, I think the last time I actually got one of those was back in uh, Glitzville. Or Twilight Town. It's been a while, that's, that's what I'm saying. Alright, I'm doing pretty good. Oh no! Please aim for Bobbery. You just messed up. Okay, you didn't mess up. So that was actually the plan. Sweet! Alright, I'm gonna put Mario out in front, that way he... Uh, will take all the attacks. Uh, spring jump, I guess. Seems to be the best move I have. Ah! <sighs> no! How? What? Must we powered up robots on the ropes? This is wrong. All right, let's bubble all mass this guy. And he should be down next turn. And he can't really do anything to Mario. So I'm actually hoping he aims for me. Thanks to that ghost, that was pretty cool. Go ahead. You fail. Ha! Didn't even feel it. Alright. I'm not gonna let you ruin this. Get out of here! Okay, um... What to do, what to do, what to do. Piercing blow. Goodbye! Ugh! For 32 star points. Didn't really get to demonstrate hold fast very well, but oh well. Rotus! Damn, it knocked him off the moon. Twinkle. Hm. Miranda's passing off again. Too obvious. Are you kidding me? Mario. Are you saying that Grotus actually entrusted Lord Crump with the Crystal Star? Does he have no sense of pattern recognition? <sighs> wow. Anyway, uh, our star power is now 8, and Mario can now use the special move Supernova. Wow, that was a derp moment on his part. And also, end of chapter! The last crystal star had been hidden in the X Dot Fortress hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario had recovered it, Peach had been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? Well, we'll find that out in the next episode. So, this has been NickyV917 saying thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 76 of Milwaukee on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. See you guys later.